don't get tired of saying it. Applying design thinking means an open-minded approach and a commitment to co-creation. It is very important to talk about the principles of design thinking and discuss how they will be applied in a specific group when working on a wicked problem. It is advisable to keep the following points in mind. Together establish and maintain a feeling of a secure zone. Even groups that have already been working together need to include space for getting to know each other. In the materials you will find some inspirations for possible methods and approaches. And co-create a code of conduct and an agreement of group rules and reflect them in a regular way. The following points are also important for the concept of a secure zone. Attractive working spaces. The rooms used, whether they are physical, online or hybrid, have an often underestimated influence on processes of learning and co-creation. Importantly, for instance, they should be easy to find and get there, including accessibility. Real rooms should have flexible furniture and digital rooms should have a flexible setup. These settings include temperature, light, noise and sometimes intimacy. Access to lots of different creative materials, so not only pen and pencil, but also things like post-its and whiteboards. They should offer a multitude of possibilities to display, cluster, choose, prioritize information and ideas. And they should support the use of different digital tools and means of communication and collaboration. An important question is also access to and provision of food and drinks. Some working spaces have a history that some people might associate with bad experiences. For example, a classroom or hospital room. It is important to plan time to reframe these memories to be able to perceive these rooms from a new perspective. All these aspects are also important for working spaces that are chosen for meetings with stakeholders, target groups and people who provide feedback or are part of tests. Playground for new methods. It can't be taken for granted that everybody involved is experienced with planning methods. Make sure to establish opportunities where these can be addressed and tried out in a playful way. Information management. Establish access for everybody in the group to all necessary information and data about the challenge or the wicked problem. This also involves thinking together how data, ideas and pieces of documentation will be stored. Also, all collected pieces should be easily editable and completable. Let's go to a debriefing of steps. Not only is it important to include the phases and creative methods of check-in and check-out in every meeting, but also to include time for a debriefing of important steps using the following impulse questions. How did you feel and what did you feel? This entails an element of appreciative self-mindfulness as well as a starting point for members of a group to learn something about each other and to establish a relationship of trust. What happened? This step can help to understand the method just implemented or experienced on a meta level, can help to become aware of the processes during times of activity and also help to provide a valuable starting point, for instance, for the phase of iteration. What did you learn? This can be about technical content, aspects of key competences, new details about the people present or the challenge. How is this related to things, aspects or issues outside the current space of action? In other words, in a professional and a private sense. What if, how and where else could the methods or the results and insights gained be applied? And next, a further concretion phase with more details such as clear responsibilities and time plan. But also during debriefing, it is very important to apply a wide variety of creative methods. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.